Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Carla. Okay, listener, Claudia, I mean, uh, Carla, sorry. Carla Benazir, you're going to be listener, yes? Okay, good, thank you, thank you. I will take your attendance now, let me see. Okay. Good, thank you. Welcome, Sonia Evet. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Welcome. Okay, we're going to start uh, with a listening activity and later I will take the attendance, right? So let's start with. Okay, good. This is it, right? Okay, road signs is uh, the topic, right? Um, here we have some road signs. Some of you drive, so you understand the meaning and the importance of this road sign, right? Those are uh, that we see on, on the street, right? This is the red light or the stop light, we want to say, right? Uh, they don't say semaphore, they say the light, the light is this. Is. Or the red light, right? He is a sign indicating that it's a bus, right? And this is a bicycle, as you can see. And we have another one that is the the direction of the road, right? Okay. So we're going to listen for conversations, right? Four conversations about driving. So what you're going to do, you're going to number the situations they are discussing in the correct order from one to four, right? One to four. The first conversation says that cars can be in the bus and taxi lane, right? The second says drivers must drive within the speed limit. Then it says drivers have to turn on car headlights on mountain roads. Cars are allowed to park in this area after 6 p.m. So these are the, the situation they say in the conversation. So the only thing you're going to do is to listen and uh, say, this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, okay? Here we go, listen, please. Page 96, exercise 11, listening, road signs, part A. Listen to four conversations about driving. Number the situations they are discussing in the correct order from one to four. One. Number one, pay attention, please. Huh, that seems strange. What is it? All these cars have their lights on. It's the middle of the day and the sun is shining. Well, we are driving in the mountains and these roads are pretty narrow. Oh, and look at that sign. It says all cars need to have their headlights on for the next five miles. Oh, you're right. I guess lights can only help us in these conditions. Number two. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60 and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how all the other cars are in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Number three. Oh, no. Not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. 
Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? $60. Can you believe that? Four. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. Okay. Now listen to second time, right? And let me know what is the answer, right? Page 96, exercise 11. Wations they are discussing in the correct order from one to four. One. Huh, that seems strange. What is it? All these cars have their lights on. It's the middle of the day and the sun is shining. Well, we are driving in the mountains and these roads are pretty narrow. Oh, and look at that sign. It says all cars need to have their headlights on for the next five miles. Oh, you're right. I guess lights can only help us in these conditions. Okay, so what is the correct uh, sentence here? Volunteers, please, volunteers. Driver have to turn on car headlights on mountain road. That's correct. Okay, that's you, right, Mariano? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good, I recognize your voice. So that's it, right? Driver have to turn on car headlights uh, on the mountain roads, right? That's it. Now, the second one. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60 and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how all the other cars are in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Okie dokie. So another volunteer, please. There you are, guys. Tell me. Number two. What is number two? Car, cars can be at uh, the bus on the taxi line. Okie dokie, lane, right? Lane, you know, it's the carril. Uh, lane. lane, lane. Very lane. good, thank you, Domingo. Okay, maybe the next one maybe is for you, Yvette. Listen. Okay, thank you. Oh, come on. Three. Oh, no. Not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? $60. Can you believe that? $60, right? In El Salvador, we have an increase of the fine, you know, multas, fines, uh, or over 120 or more, right? So be careful when you drive. Uh, Yvette, please, do you have the answer, Yvette? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, cars are allowed to park in, in this area after 6 p.m. That's correct. Very good. In, in this area after 6 p.m. So it means that during uh, the daytime, they cannot do that, right? And finally, by logic, but listen. listen. Four. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. Okie dokie, now please. The last volunteer. Okay, Yvette, again, come on, do it. Um, 
drivers must drive within the speed limit. Okay, within the, like in El Sabo, right? <laughs> yeah, right. The speed limit. Ah, that's your baby. But is she better? She, she, right? It's a boy. Sorry, it's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, good. Is he better now? Sir? Is he better now? Yes. Oh, good. Thanks, God. Thank God, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, good. Now, let's start with the attendance right now. Good. Uh, Trini? Present. Good, Trini. Nice. Present. Early, right? Aminda? Aminda? Rene Figueroa de Manzano, please. No, not yet, right? Okay. Ana Maria? Present. Good, Ana Maria. Nice. Welcome. And Carlos? Mr. Membreño Núñez? Not yet, right? Not yet. Good. Claudia Guadalupe Arias? Send a message. Okay. Domingo? Present. Good. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Ever. Jose Roberto. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Jose Roberto. Mm, okay. Carla already says she said present. And Carla Vanessa Vasquez. Okay. I hope she's okay. But now, Laisley. Okay. Leticia Guadalupe. Mariano. Teacher. Oh, okay. Leticia. Leticia, that's you? Sí, I'm okay, listening good, good, you. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I, I am happy that you don't have to run with the internet, Leticia. I'm, I'm happy for that. Okay, Mariano? Present teacher. Good, thank you. Oscar Anulfo? Oscar? Present, present. Okay, good, good, thank you. Uh, Rosemary? Present teacher. Good, happy to have you in my class again, Rosemary. Okay. Uh, yes, sir, but I have too much work this day i imagine yes no 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 i understand that all of you work yeah and you have problems to connect right but 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 you can participate in the club rosemary or you are driving or something no actually i'm going out to my work right now and i'm driving um, and i'm going to drive yes okay so no participation right but anyway so you're going to listen right the class but if you if you can, you raise your hand, right? If you can. Okay, thank you. Now, Rosibel. Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome. Rosibel. Rosibel. Present teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Welcome. Sonia Ibeth. Yeah. Thank you. Present. Welcome. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. Uh, Wendy. Present. Good. Welcome. Uh, Walter Omar. Present. Oh, Vicky Dinora. Chamba. Debbie. Present. Okay, nice to have you again, Debbie. Thank you. Good. Jorge Alfredo. Oh, welcome, Jorge. Thank nice, you. nice, nice. Very good. So everybody is here, right? Ready to, to have a very dynamic class. Oh, Carlos. Yeah, Carlos. Let me see. Uh, yes. Very good, uh, Carlos. I, I took your attendance. That's it, right? Anybody else? No? Okay. So let's continue with the class. So I'm going to give you the the presentation for today, right? Good. Mm -hmm. 
presentation here. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work program Intermediate 3. Today, it, oh, 11. No, 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 sorry, there is a mistake here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, no, sorry, it's my mistake, yeah. It's my mistake, give me a second. Oh, yes. Sorry, guys. Teacher committed a, mis committed a mistake. This is not 11, it's 12. Sorry, excuse me. And the name of the class is, for today, Describe effect Effective Branding. So I'm gonna change, give me a second. Sorry for the also again, right? Uh, Vanessa, okay. Carla, Vanessa. Good. I got your message, Carla. Okay, good. Uh, let me see. English, so today is 12. And the topic class is going to be uh, describe effective branding. Describe effective branding. Branding is not alcohol. <laughs> branding is a uh, brand, you know, marcas, right? So you were happy when I said branding. No, come on, branding, no. Branding, right? Okay, now let's begin. Okay, again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today is, um, today is Tuesday, right? 12th, July 12th. Today is the birthday of one of my sons, Samuel Alejandro. Today is his birthday. Okay, and we're going to celebrate next Saturday, of course. And Happy the, birthday, teacher. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's, he's very tall, you know, he's 16 years old. Eh? Yeah, okay. Now, describe effective branding. This is the topic, right? And we're going to continue with the second part, the second part of intelligence. I know all my students are really intelligent, so uh, you're going to like this topic again, right? Um, who is the most intelligent person, you know? Today, I will ask for volunteers. I won't ask specific students. So today, volunteer, right? Okay, so who wants to tell me who is the most intelligent person they know? No, 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 don't say the teacher, please, I'm not included, yes. Say other person, please, <laughs> come on. Volunteers? Come on, guys. Speak, speak, come on. No, come Delsa. on. Ah, yes? Delsa. Delsa. Ah, Domingo, Domingo, come on, Domingo. Who is the most intelligent person you know, Domingo? Is, uh... besides, besides you, of course. Besides you, aparte de usted, obviously. <laughs> come on. No, is um, the popular person? Uh, whatever, oh. your brother, your sister, uh, a scientist, uh, someone you know, right? Mm. It's a um, uh, 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 person is a uh, Tesla. Is a uh, my friend is an uh, engineer, the Monroe is the person. In the person, okay. Sorry, I don't know, but it's a friend or what, Domingo? It's a friend. It's a friend. Oh, good. Nice, nice. Good. Thank you. How about you, Carlos? Who's the most intelligent person? Most intelligent I know. Uh, I think it's my son. Your son. My, my goodness. Nice. Yes. Nice. Okay. I hope. So I, I imagine you're proud when you receive the grades in the school, right? Uh-huh. Yes. yes. Yeah, nice. Congratulations for your son, yeah? Okay, and Yvette, please. For you, who is the most intelligent person that you know? I'm sorry, I am mute. Uh, the most intelligent person that I know is my husband. Your husband, oh, so, nice. Yes. 
Congratulations eh, to your husband, but tell us the reason. Why do you think your husband is very intelligent? For example, in the past, mm -hmm. eh, he uh, doesn't know anything uh, about Excel and mm -hmm. Photoshop. He only watching uh, tutorials in YouTube. He is a pro. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Excel is one of my favorite programs. Even. Yes, it's really nice. If your husband knows about that, man. Congratulations. And I hope I hope your son is going to be so intelligent too, right? In the future, right? Like your husband. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, good. Now, next question, right? Do you think all world leaders, uh, president, prime ministers, leaders in general, right, are intelligent? Opinions. Please. War leaders. In this time or the past? No. Um, I guess it's the present. Yeah, the present. Barack Obama. Barack Obama. Oh, nice opinion. Yeah, good, good guy, right? He was the pre the first president of uh, uh, dark skin, you know in the United States, right? And good, uh, Carlos, your opinion? So, teacher, about what the question? question the, the, the world leader, sorry. Uh, the same question, sorry. Um, I think maybe. Maybe, oh, come on, this maybe is more no, than, <laughs> right, Carlos? You don't want to give your commentary, right? You don't want to hurt. I, I think feelings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Anybody else? Uh, maybe uh, Steve Jobs. Uh, Steve Jobs. Oh. And Bill Gates is is. There are uh, a, a very intelligent. Of course, they are right. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, next question: Are we all born with the same level of intelligence? What do you think, guys? Because some people say, no, some, some people have the opportunity in the life, right? They were born with the star in their hands, right? So uh, it's not that all people are, in, everybody's the same, some people say, right? So, but what is your opinion? Are we all born with the same level of intelligence? Yes. You think yes. Uh, who, who is it? Ana. Oh, okay, Ana Maria, please. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. I think, yes, we all born with the same level of intelligence, but the mm -hmm. circumstances uh, change that. Change? Or, uh, I don't know. Yes, they create the characteristic in the life for one of us. I think that modificar. Modify. Uh, uh -huh. Modify the, the intelligence that we were every. Okay. Um... Listen, there is a theory, I was reading about a theory that uh, all what we think or intelligence or the tendency, because remember some, uh, today the, the inclusive um, ideas are very uh, fashionable in this moment, right? Everybody's talking about inclusion, you know? Uh, so, so some people, you know, are different. You know? That's what I want to say. I don't want to create controversy, but some people are different, right? And they say happen with the intelligence, maybe. Uh, this is what the scientist says, but uh, there is a theory that says that we were born with, the, with this intelligence or we were born with the things, with your personality, you know? Others say that the environment, it uh, helped people to create their own personality, the thing that they like or the intelligence, right? And there is a third theory that is the, the one that I believe, of course, that is a combination that part of your genes, you know, henness, part of your genes are, uh, make you intelligent, for example, right? But also the, the surrounding, for example, going to school, reading, yesterday we were discussing this, right? Uh, playing memory games, learn another, another language, uh, I'm uh, no, sorry, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so all of these things, uh, it's the environment, right? So your genes uh, and, and your 
your environment help, right? Uh, to create a very intelligent person. So that's nice. Thank you, Ana Maria. Thank you for your commentary. Okay, and let's go to the next one. Does being very intelligent make you happy? You know, are, are in people that know you, I am intelligent, right? So does this make you happy? Yes or no? What do you think? Is happiness associated with intelligence? Yes or no? For me, no, teacher. Why not? Why do you think not? Because uh, I have many ways to be happy. There are other ways to be happy, right? Yeah. Okay, but don't you consider that uh, intelligence can help you to be happy? Uh, people uh, say, right? El que sabe se divierte. <laughs> Some people say that, right? I yes, heard that. Yes. I don't know what. Maybe but... you, you don't agree with that, but that's what I heard. What do you think of that? Um, <laughs> okay, good. No, that's okay. That's okay. Yes. If you're intelligent, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah, thinking about marriage, good. right? Marriage. If you get married, maybe you're intelligent or not, right? And, uh, yeah. but there is no relation, maybe. Yeah, you're, you're right. In, in this case, you're right because. You, you're, be you are happy when you're mm -hmm. you're happy when you're watch uh uh alianza match <laughs> no, but... that's that's a joke come on <laughs> i'm kidding no come on yeah i like alianza but, I like it... Barcelona, but that's that's not <laughs> come on Pero no, se relaciona con no, la... no i know i understand what your idea you're, you're right i agree with you yes but this is the question i mean that maybe if you believe that there is no relation, of course, right? But maybe for me, it could be a, a, a little factor that can help you to, to say that, okay, I am happy because I know about geography, I know about chemistry, about I know about Excel, for example, you know? Yes, maybe it can just help you uh, to be a little happy, you know? <laughs> but not very happy because uh, like you say, there are other factors that make you happy. Other factors. Uh huh. Your yes. family, your friends, your job, uh, the natural God, of course, God. Yes. When you are we, when you are good with God, you are happy. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Now, what insults your intelligence? What insults your intelligence? What things? What situation? Or what people insults your intelligence? Okay, uh, I will tell you what, people who litter, people who litter for me, right? And they believe that they are, going, they are not going to have consequences for littering, you know, tirar basura, right? Littering. So that insults my intelligence, okay? So what about you guys? What insults your intelligence? In my opinion, uh -huh. When I when I see uh, advertising for the government, <laughs> okay, good political advertisement, right? Yeah, I don't like that either. It, any government, right? So politician <laughs> are, around the history, seen Egypt, uh, the French Revolution, uh, today, right? <laughs> All politicians are looking for money, right? Or your money, right? So that's it. Okay, good, good. What else? What other things insults your intelligence? Bad, bad customers. Bad customs. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree that. Uh, for example, can you give me one example of a bad custom? 
for example, um, bad expression. Ah, bad expression, right. This is, mm -hmm. the word in English is uh, profane words. No, there is another yes. word. Okay, but bad words, I understand, I understand, yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the culture, right? It's part of the culture. But uh, when you hear people, uh, I hear some people that every three words, <laughs> They say, and then the, all the words, right? They cannot communicate without saying those words. So it can help. It can insult your intelligence, yes. I mean, nobody's perfect, of course. You know? <laughs> Maybe you, one day you were very angry, you insult the bucero, right? You are, <laughs> okay? We don't know sometimes. By the way, if you want, I can include for the next class this topic, manners. Manners is a topic. I like this topic. How to behave in, in the, on the street, on the table, uh, how to, to be kind with people, you know, to say thank you, good morning, etc., etc. right? So uh, I will include this topic for tomorrow. Yeah. Good. And the last question, right? Uh, what do you think of intelligence tests? What is your opinion about that? Is it true? Is, is it okay? Do you believe it's appropriate, et cetera, et cetera? What do you think? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Come on, guys, speak. Maybe tomorrow I will, I will point some specifics to it, right? Come on. What do you think of intelligent tests? They are good, they are bad. What? Uh-huh. Repeat the, the, the question, teacher, please. What do you think of intelligence tests? Those tests that make you, you are in this level, you are in this level of intelligence. You have an, an, a very high IQ, they say, right? Intelligence quote. That is mean, for example, Einstein, they say Einstein, he had a very high IQ, right? Why do you say that? Because they make some intelligent tests, right? Mm, for, so, for me, the intelligent tests, uh, not always, uh -huh. um, are two. Okay, I agree with that. Scientists sometimes, sure. they lie. Scientists are liars sometimes, right? Carlos, what do you think? Sure. Are they accurate? Son seguros? To share. Yes. I, okay. Who's talking? Who's talking? Sorry. Mariano. Ah, Mariano. Okay. Uh, sorry. Give me a second, Carlos. Give me a second, Carlos. Ah, uh -huh, Mariano. To share, I think for me, it's good for gives a parameter, but it's, uh -huh. it's relative. Okay. They are not uh, totally uh, sure, right? For, they are not totally accurate. Yes. Okay. But or gives a parameter, it's a good method. Okay, I understand. So they are not totally 100% accurate, right? But they can help us. Well, yeah, I believe it's true. Carlos, what about you? What do you think? The intelligent test is a, a good tool for human resources for higher people. Oh, okay, and... yes, I forgot that point. Yes, you're right. Of course, because they can, there are a lot of people around this, around the world that, you know, <laughs> okay, so maybe, yeah. yes, in human resources, imagine you, you hire a, a person that is, you know, crazy, because that is nuts. Yeah, maybe, yeah, intelligent tests can help, right? <laughs> okay, very good, nice. So uh, now let's continue, right? We're going to uh, have a reading exercise. And we're going to do something, right? Today is the day for volunteers, right? So I will read. And after me, I need two volunteers who help me read it, right? To check pronunciation, um, reading, right? Because there is a technique to read, right? And uh, vocabulary, right? So Yvette, you want to help me? Okay, good. But first, I'm going to read. I'm going to read, right? And then you, you can help me. Okay, it says, 
idioms, idioms are expressions that um, are cultural expressions. Like you say, in El Salvador, está lloviendo a cantar, right? Or, eh, or maybe you say, uh, más vale el diablo por diablo que por viejo. No, I don't remember. But okay, anyway, so idioms, idioms, right? Okay, and then he says, idioms can be pro a problem for language learners. They often seem to make absolutely no sense at all, right? Uh, for example, imagine your English friend Sam tells you his math exam was a piece of cake. The exam was a piece of cake. What is the relation with a piece of cake and exam? Well, do you imagine him at school sitting in front of a sweet dessert with nothing but a pen to eat it with, right? In fact, he's saying that the exam was really easy. It's important to learn useful English idioms and knowing their origins help us to remember them. Here are stories of three English idioms, right? Besides this, of course, uh, a piece of cake or, or a breeze, you know, like you say in Spanish, es una, es una brisa, you know, it's very easy, right? It's pan comido, say people in El Salvador, in El Salvador. Es pan comido, right? Ah, people say in El Salvador, está chiche. <laughs> Have you heard that? Ah, que chiche estaba el examen. <laughs> you know, I don't know the relation, but it's all the other Salvadorian idiom, right? Okay, but help me, please. Read uh, until, until a pen to eat it with. Come on, go ahead, read. Sonia, Sonia Ivet. <laughs> yes, sorry, mute. No, no, no problem, no problem. Come on, go ahead, read. Uh, idioms can be a problem for a language learner. They often seem to make absolutely no sense of that. At all, at, at all. At, at all. For example, imagine your English friend Sam tells you his math exam was a piece of cake. Do you imagine him at school sitting in front of a sweet dessert with nothing but a pen to eat, eat, to eat it with? To eat it with? Uh -huh. Very good. Second one, second part, please. Another volunteer. Thank you, Yvette. Okay, the second part, please. Who wants to help me? Come on. Tonight is the night of the volunteers, but I want everybody to participate, eh? Come on. Me want to help me? Okay, Debbie, thank me. you, Debbie. In fact, he's saying that the exam was really easy. It's important to learn useful English idioms and knowing their or, origins Origin. helps, origin helps us to remember them. Help us, he, help, help us. Help us ah. to remember them. Here are stories of three English idioms. Thank you very much. Stories, stories, right? Okay, thank you, stories. baby. Now here we have three pictures, right? This animal is a camel, and we have, uh, this is straw, you know, a uh, paja, straw. This is a bell, okay? And you know this happy woman, <laughs> This happy woman is under, under a, a cloud, a black cloud, right? You know, it's, right? Doesn't seem to be very happy. Okay, so we have this three picture, right? Now we are going to connect the three pictures with this idea, right? Again, I will read and I will ask volunteers to help me and practice the reading skills, the reading abilities, right? Letter A. If you ask a friend to hang out, you might hear, sorry, I can't tonight. Hang out means salir a fregar or salir a pasear. You know? uh, sorry, I can't tonight. I'm feeling a little under the weather. Under the weather. It may sound like rain is coming, but really it means that your friend feels sick. This expression came from sailors, and marinos, right? Sailors, who often got seasick. Uh, mareados or, you know, okay, see, see, when, when bad weather tows the ship, tows the ship from side to side, 
uh, the sailors went down to the bottom part of the ship away from the storm and where the ship rocking, uh, sorry, and where the ship rocking was gentler. Good. So uh, another volunteer, please, to help me and read until feel sick. Volunteers? Yes. Chamba, help me, please. Chamba, sorry, I will take the attendance. Le vamos a tomar la asistencia, Chamba. Okay, read, read. Okay, Mr. Letter B. Letter A, if you ask a friend. Oh, okay. If you ask a friend to hang out, you, you might hear, sorry, I can't tonight. I'm feeling a little under weather. It may sound like a rain is coming, but really, it means that your friend feels sick. Okay, continue, continue. This expression came from sailors who, who often got seasick when bad weather tossed the ship from side to side. The sailors went down to the bottom part of the ship away from the storm and where their ship rocking was gentler. Gentle, right? From the word gentle, suavecito, amable, más cariñoso, okay, gentle. Okay, good. Now, um, thank you, thank you, Chamba. Uh, now, uh, this uh, under the weather is related with what of this picture? Picture one, two, or three? Number three. Three. Three, thank you, thank you very much. So picture number three. So when you are under the weather is that you're having problems, you know? You're in troubles. Excuse me? So when, when I don't know if you have, we, we, we all, we have problems in the office, right? But when, when it happened and there is a trouble after a trouble, a problem over a trouble, difficult situations over all the difficult situations, you say, oh, come on, feeling like under the weather, right? So you're not feeling well, you, you're stressed or maybe uh, you feel sick, right? Sometimes, yes. Okay, now let's go to letter B. Again, I will read and then I will ask another volunteer. Ah, sorry, do you have questions about vocabulary? Any question about vocabulary? See, seek, hang out, um, toes, gentler, rocking. Sailor teacher, what the meaning? Sailor is a marinero. For example, uh, Popeye, Popeye. Um, Popeye is the sailor man. Um, Popeye is the sailor man, you know? Marino, right? Popeye el marino, it says. Toast, toast means uh, como... Como golpear, como samaquear, you know? Samaquear algo. <laughs> From side to side, you say toast. Ah, well, when you, when you are pushing someone in the hammock, in la maca, right? You're, you're toasting <laughs> someone, right? Or when you push, you're fighting with someone. You push the person, you're toast the person, right? It's samaquear, golpear, aventar, you know? <laughs> toast. Okay, any other question? No? Okay, let's continue. Let it be. If you have... A difficult roommate, so you might say, my roommate has a loud parties every night, but last night was the last straw. They play music till 5 a.m. I'm moving out. A last straw is a final problem that makes someone take action. This expression is a short form of the phrase, the straw that broke the camel's back. That the idea is that even though a single piece of straw is very light, many pieces added together will be too heavy for the camel to carry. Okay, one volunteer, please help me. Oh, yes, Wendy, come on. If you have difficult roommate, you can say, my roommate, my roommate has low parties every night. But last night was the last straw. They played music till 5 a.m. I'm moving out. A last straw is final, is a final product that makes someone take um, action. Action. Mm -hmm. This expression is a short form. This expression of the phrase, the straw that broke, I can see the screen, sorry. 
the, the straw that broke the camel's back. The idea is that even though a single piece of straw is very light, many pieces added together will be too heavy for the camel to carry. Thank you, thank you, Wendy. Now, what picture do you think is the correct one? One, two, or three? One. One, right? Easy. A piece of cake <laughs> for you. Okay, nice. Good. Any uh, any word that you don't understand or any word that you can not pronounce? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Straw. Straw is a paja. Paja, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, look at the picture. The camel is carrying out a, a straw, right? All right. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it, right? Any other question? Thank you, Carlos. Any other question? No? Sure? Okay. Let's continue, right? Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, what is mean uh, the last drop? Last drop. Last drop. Uh -huh. es, es, es como la última, la última paja, right? O uh, la última hebra de, de paja, you know, it's... Uh, Ajá, okay. uh -huh, it's okay. like... Well, in Spanish, you know, the expression, right? La, la gota que derramó el vaso, you know? Que derramó, ah, oh, okay. Ajá, uh -huh, it's like when you have a, a, a glass of water, you know, and then just a, a, a drop, ding, okay? <laughs> Understand? Okay. Okay, yeah. yes, it's... It's normal, you know, when some, you are, people are really patient, right? In my school, for example, I work in a school in the morning. Uh, you know, the guys, they are for seven, eight, nine grades. So they are really, you know, they don't behave sometimes. So it's, and then we say, okay, fulanito, don't do that, please. And they do it again. Okay, fulanito. Don't. <laughs> but then last time you say, okay, come on, that was the last straw. Sorry, okay, I will copy your name in the, there is a book where you copy the names of the guys over there, right? It's like a penalty. <laughs> so that's it, right? So people can be very patient, but one small thing, even is it's very little thing, right? It's not important, but it's, you know, a situation or a situation, right? And so that's something normal. Okay, good. Thank you. If no more questions, let's go to letter C, right? Letter C. He said, have you ever asked someone if they, are, if they know something and they reply, that rings a bell? They're not in hearing music. Sorry, they're not hearing music. They mean that, that what you're saying sounds familiar and they think they've heard it before. This idiom uh, comes from the fact that bells are used to remind people of many things. <laughs> I can include here that even dogs, right? <laughs> Traditionally, bells would toll uh, for an important event, uh, like a wedding. School bells tell you that class is starting and even the alarm chime uh, on your phone, right? Reminds you that it's time to get up. Well, I hate that one. It's time to get up. Good. So who wants to help me please to read this part? Come on guys, practice your reading skills. Okie dokie, Ever. Thank you, Ever. This is the story I want to on. Okay, Mr. Have you ever asked someone if they know something? And they reply, that's okay. ring a bell. They're not hearing music. They mean that while you're saying sounds familiar and they think okay. they, have, they have heard it before. Okay. This idiom comes from the fact the bells yeah. are used to remind people of okay. many things. It's Traditionally, okay. bells okay. would talk for an important okay. event like a wedding, a school bells, Tell you that class is starting, and even the alarm shine on your phone reminds you that it's time to get up. Thank you very much. Now, ever school, right? Schools, familiar, familiar, right? Familiar. 
That's it, right? And this word is uh, together. Remember that when we have uh, the, the pronoun it, for example, is heard it, heard it. They've heard it before, right? Thank you. And you have an excellent reading. Nice. Okay, class. Now, what picture is letter C? Difficult or oh, it's okay. <laughs> huh? What picture? One, two, or three? Two. Number two, right? Okay, that's it, right? So any question about vocabulary? Any word that is difficult for you to pronounce? Translation, if you want. Context, extra examples, etc., etc. right? Everything can help us to read and understand a text, right? That ring a bell. Uh, the expression yes. ring, the meaning of yes. rings a bell. The translation yes. or the meaning? That ring a bell. Uh -huh, yes, but the translation or the meaning of, of the expression? Expression. I mean, translation, okay. Uh, well, the translation, give me a second. <laughs> Come on, uh, that rings a bell. Eso me suena a una campana, right? O eso hace que me suene una campana. Huh? Eso hace que me suene una campana. Huh? That rings a bell. But of course, it's not that it's a bell inside your brain, right? No es que hay un, una campanita ahí dentro de su cerebro que suena. Que, ding! <laughs> no, right? It's, uh, it's an idiom, right? It's an idiom, right? That means that something, uh, the word or the expression is familiar. Right? Like, for example, when you say, imagine you are in the United States, right? And, and someone says, someone next to you says, eh, den de hoy. <laughs> den de hoy. <laughs> so you say, oh, this guy is from, eh, this expression rings my bell, right? Me suena familiar esta expresión. La he escuchado en El Salvador, right? <laughs> den de hoy. <laughs> Utual. <laughs> Utual, right? I was looking in my dictionary, right? I was looking in my dictionary and I said, Utual, I said, no translation. Then <laughs> dioy, que tioy. Okay, so those are words that uh, are different, right? But it's like something like, uh, me, su uh, me suena familiar. Antes he escuchado esto. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, híjole, eh, lo que acabas de decir me recuerda algo que me pasó. You know, something like that, right? Something that can bring an idea in your mind, right? You know, like 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 when when you hear the 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 bells toll, right? When the las campanas suenan, when they toll, right? So it reminds that an important situation is coming, like a wedding or like in a school class, right? Okay, understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you for your commentary. Right. Now, anybody else? No, okay. So let's start with the class now. Let's, it's almost nine o'clock. So we're going to start with the class. Ah, there is a, there are some questions here, but uh, let me see if it's too late. No, no, we're going to, uh, no, 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 sorry. We, no puede relatar, de mejor dejémoslo, yes. Okay. Uh, today, the, the objective for today, uh, ever please help me. Can you read the objective for tonight? Okay, I will be able, I will be able to describe to achievement, 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 achievements, of, achievements, achievement. Mm -hmm. Describe to achievement of effective branding for the company. Thank you very much. Okay, oops, what happened here? Okay, so I'm going to remind you the four P's before we start. First one, product. The merchandise or services offered by a company to its customers. The price is the amount of money paid by customer to purchase, to purchase or purchase the product. The place or the distribution the activities that make the product available, disponible, right, for, to consumers. 
or to clients. Sorry. Promotion. The activities that communicate the product's features and benefits that help persuade customers to purchase the product or to buy the product, right? So these are the four P's in general, right? Now we're going to go to the manual. We're going to go to the manual, right? And we're going to review these four P's again. And tonight we're going to make a presentation about this, right? Okay. The first is we're going to talk about marketing. Uh, this is the last class for unit number two. We finished tonight, unit two, right? And marketing. So we're going to make a review of what is marketing, right? But the question is, why is marketing uh, important? Why is marketing important? This is the question, right? Remember tonight I want volunteers. Esta noche no voy a, no voy a preguntarles uno por uno, ¿verdad? Voy a esperar que participen, pero espero que participen los que casi no participan. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Okay, please help me. Why is market? Yes, Walter, come on, tell me. Why is market? And mar excuse me. No, the question is, why is a marketing plan? Excuse me. Why is a marketing plan important? Walter? I think it's important because it's the way to our company show uh, features of product to the clients. Okay, excellent commentary. Walter, do you work in marketing in the marketing area by any chance? No, no, no. I work in planning. Oh, okay, good. But you know, you know. Thank you, thank you. Now, what? Well, uh, Walter said that uh, one of the details of the marketing is, you know, to to try to to make the the consumer know about your product, right? But what other details would you include in in your plan? Imagine you are making a plan, right? You you work in the marketing area, and they say. Uh, for example, Aminda, Ever, Carlos, please, I need you make a plan, right? A marketing plan to sell this product, right? I want to see to sell, I don't know why I always say choripani in my mind, but <laughs> yeah, but but I want you to sell these choripanes in the market, you know? And then I need a plan. So what kind of details would you include in this plan? Don't worry if you if you don't know, but Please tell me your commentary. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, come on. Okay, I could include a uh, design of brand, uh -huh. um, um, place to, to sell my product, and, and what kind of advertising I need. Okay, advertising is important, right? Advertise your product. Yesterday we were learning about this, right, Carlos? Teacher. Yes, tell me. C can you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes. Who is it? Okay, uh, Roberto. Ah, Roberto. Uh -huh. Yes, I read your message. Uh, ya, ya le hizo mensaje. Okay. 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 I, I think uh, uh, important details is, uh, is the cost of uh -huh. the activities of, of this plan. I, I totally agree with you, Roberto. In this case, I, I imagine, Roberto, you're talking about price, right? Or the cost of the product, right? Uh, the cost or the cost of the activities mm -hmm. of the plan. I understand, I understand. All the activities are included in it. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Yes, this is another very important detail, right? Because imagine you need a place to create a product. You need uh, some raw material, you know, materia prima. You need raw material to, to, to make the product, right? And it, it implies a cost, yes? So you have to include this, like Roberto said, in your plan, in your marketing plan, right? Okay, talking about this, uh, the marketing plan is a written re record, right, of how you're going to use your marketing mix. And what is the marketing mix? The marketing mix 
is a combination of placement, or place, right? Price, promotion, product, or the service, right? In this case, uh, for example, in Inglés Corporativo, for example, we, we don't have a product, we have a service, right? So the combination of these marketing mix, right, is making your plan. And you're going to keep a record. Listen, I don't work in, 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 in the marketing area, but if someone works in marketing area in this group, you can help us, right, to understand how we, we can make this, this plan, you know? And, and because I, I don't work with, with advertisement, right? Well, I don't work with marketing, but maybe you have an idea how to make this, right? But to make this and to, to uh, you have an idea for how to make this plan, right? We're going to make this exercise, listen. Look at the four basics of marketing plan below. So placement, price, promotion, and product set, right? These are the four P's, right? Read the questions and then label each of its parts with the four P's. So here we have letter A, letter B, letter C, and letter D, right? Letter A, B, C, and D. So you're going to do the next, right? you're going to put one of these right in every letter, okay? And let me see, I wanna make it smaller. Yes, now you can see uh, the fourth letter, right? So in the meantime, you read, right? I will take the attendance because it's nine o'clock, right? Read please and label. Match each, each, each of the letters with this four P, right? Okay. Uh, Trini? Present. Okay, thank you. Aminda? Present. Good, Aminda. Ana Maria? Present. Good, thank you. Okay, sorry. Uh, there is. Um, Yes, thank you very much. Okay, good. So, uh, Carlos. I am here. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo Alexander. Present. Good. Ever. Present. One second, please. Need another pen. Ah, here. Thank you, Domingo. Eh, ever, de, ever, de Jesus. Present the chair. Good. Jose Roberto. Jose Roberto. Okay. Uh, Jose Roberto Jose. acaba de comentar, así que le va a tomar la asistencia. Yes. Le vamos a tomar la asistencia, Jose Roberto. Uh, yes, yes, I heard you. Hoy sí ya lo escuchamos, Jose Roberto. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Carla? Okay, good, thank you. Okay. Um, your message immediately, Carla, thank you. Yes, your, it's a sign that you're listening, nice. Thank you. Uh, Carla Vanessa? Me envía el mensaje, Carla Vanessa? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, Carla. No, 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 wait. Carla Vanessa? Good. Me, me envía un, un mensaje, Carla Vanessa, porque ahí leí un mensaje que no podía conectarse muy bien, ¿verdad? Cuando se conecte me manda un mensaje. Eh, Laisley. Ok. Um, Leticia. Puedes entender. Good, good. En lo que tomo la asistencia, lean, por favor. Vamos, hay que trabajar ahí, ok? Please, let's work. Mariano? I'm here to share. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo? Here. Good. Rosemary? Present teacher. Good. Rosibel? Present teacher. Ok. Sonia y Beth? Y 
Yvette. Present. Present. Good. Vanessa. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. Present. Walter. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Wendy. Present. Good. Always present. Nice, Wendy. Uh, Vicky. Chamba. Present, mister. Good. Debbie. Present. And Jorge Alfredo. Present. Good. Eh, Jorge, me dijeron en, en inglés corporativo que iban a revisar mañana para agregarlo a la plataforma. Eh, entiendo yo que en el correo que le enviaron, Jorge, ahí aparecía eh, el link para meterse en la plataforma. Pero si no, este, yo voy a estar pendiente que me le echen una mano, ¿verdad? Espero que le den una llamada mañana o le envíen un correo. Oiga. Para sí, que porque... trabajen en la plataforma. No voy a esperar. Ok, good, thank you. Now, eh, ¿alguien más tiene problemas para trabajar en la plataforma? ¿O todos terminamos ya el ejercicio de la unidad 1? ¿Nobody? ¿Todos estamos bien? ¿Todos pueden accesar a la plataforma? Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, good. And what else? Eh, aprovechando que estamos ahí trabajando, vamos a dar unos anuncios. Okay, tonight I'm going to work with Sonia Ivet, right, Sonia? Sonia Ivet, uh, yes. va, a poder, va a poder esta noche? Yes. Yeah, good, good, thank you. Aquí la estamos agendando, ¿verdad? Eh, aprovechando que está Ana María también, eh, Ana María, quisiera eh, agendarla porque usted está entre las primeras de la lista. Para mañana, ¿cree que puede quedarse los 10 minutos extra, Ana María? Sí, sí, está bien. Sí, sí. mañana, va, ok. Good, thank you. Good. Um, y luego me quedan, pues, ya, ya pasamos de la mitad, ¿verdad? Pero uh, me quedan tres, cuatro, cinco, siete estudiantes. Okay, yes. Enough. We have enough time. Todavía tenemos suficiente tiempo. Okay. Good, let's continue, right? Good. Number one. Number one is what? Placement or place? Price? Promotion, product, or service. Well, what is number letter A? Sorry, letter A. Product. Product. Very good. Oh, oh. service, right? Oh, service. Product, mm -hmm. service. Yes, thank you. Letter B. Price. 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 Excellent also, right? Letter C. Placement. Placement, right? Placement or distribution. Placement or distribution, right? Letter D. Promotion. Letter E. Oh, no, no, sorry. No more, right? So four. We have product, letter A, price, letter B, uh, place or distribution is letter C, and letter D, promotion, right? Good. Yes. Now, listen, we have this, right? Number one, you get to give the product a new brand name. What name do you choose? Hmm. So we're going to do something, class. Listen. We are going to work in groups, again, break up rooms. And you are going to make a presentation uh, about a product tonight. Listen, uh, according to the plan of the book, it, it must be uh, uh, a, a product that you know, you know, a product that you know. But uh, I would like we work with a product that you can invent, right? The group is going to invent a product. I don't know, it could be... Uh, Toilet paper, a pencil, a printer, a car, shoes, a perfume, a mirror. I don't know. Any product that you have in mind. And then, according to the plan, right? Because remember, the plan is related with the details of, the, of these four P's, right? Uh, you're going to give a name for this product. And what does your product do? I mean, what is the use of your product, right? For example, if it is a beverage, it helps you when you have when you're thirsty, for example, right? Letter B, price. How much does your product cost? In this case, uh, the cost, not the cost of uh, to produce the product, but the cost in the market, right? One dollar, two dollars, ten dollars, one thousand dollars. I don't know. Depends on the product, right? Will you use any special price strategies? For example, uh, uh, 
two by one. Uh, if you buy one product, the second product is half price. Coupons, coupon, right? For example, the one that says, uh, if you are reading this advertise, it got this, got this uh, coupon and, and, and ask for a, a lower price, you know? Sales events, this is very common, right? In some commercial center, for example, uh, people used to own the street, right? Or, or house by house, right? They go and promote this sales event, right? Et cetera, et cetera. What is the, 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 the strategy you're going to use, right? Um, uh, to sell your product or, or to make your product more attractive, right? Using the price. If so, which strategies and why? Why you're going to use these strategies, right? Okay, and let us see for placement or distribution, will you sell your, sorry, where will you sell your product? Retail stories, tienda de, tienda de al por menor, right? Tienda al por menor, online, in markets, in supermarkets, to another country, et cetera, et cetera. Well, where will you position your product to catch the eye of your target customers? Uh, this is interesting, you know, top shelf. Uh, you know that uh, in supermarkets, for example, there are some strategies that uh, help people to sell a product, for example, uh, some products are at the end of the supermarket, you know, like milk, uh, vegetable, right? But if you want to uh, sell your products, according to what I heard, is that you put your product at the main entrance of the supermarket, you know? So that, that way, all the clients, the first thing they see is your product, right? Or the, the shelf is very important. We have the top shelf, the middle shelf and the low shelf, right? In a supermarket. So what people see, the middle, right? You, when, when you go to the supermarket, you, you normally don't, don't see up or down, right? You see directly, right? So this place is more expensive and more, and it's sorry, and it's better to sell your product, right? The, the shelf, this is street, corner, right? Maybe you want to, to sell your product at the, on the street. Yeah, why not? Or where? Where do you want to, to, to expose your product to the eye of, the, of your customer, right? And letter D, promotion. How would you advertise the product? You're going to use the media, you're going to use the newspapers, the radio, the TV, uh, pamphlets. <laughs> bulletin boards or, or, or let's say billboards you know anuncio gigante oh, and billboards yes or who is your target customer uh, children adults uh, women men uh, uh, students uh, what else let's say for example uh, office workers um, what else? Uh, drivers, drivers. Who is your target customer, right? So this is the plan, right? And now it says, choose a product or service that you use every week. It, well, I don't say that you use every week. Please invent your product, right? Then create a marketing plan. What is the marketing plan? Is this that's your marketing plan? Look, all of this is your marketing plan, right? And then use the questions about as a guide. So this is the guide. You're going to use all these questions and you're going to create uh, the, your marketing plan, right? Your marketing plan, okay? So the idea tonight is to create in groups a marketing plan. Uh, tonight, I will give you more time. You know, the previous time I say, do it fast, do it fast. But today, is that not you're going to do it fast? Okay, you need to concentrate. But to, tonight, I will give you more time, right? If it is possible, the full class is going to be dedicated to this activity, right? Okay, any question?
Do you understand what are we going to do? Again, I will repeat, we are going to make a marketing plan using these questions as a guide. And you are going to invent a product, right? You know, pañales el suavecito, lapis el, el fuertecito, <laughs> any product, right? Okay, good. No questions? So it's time to work. Ladies and gentlemen, ah, sorry, uh, if you want to capture, si no tienen el, el manual, por favor, tómenle una captura a esta parte. Tómenle una captura a esta página, please. Come on, please, let's do it. Ready? Okay, now we'll make the groups. I will make the groups. And I'm going to create four, right? Four groups, four groups, right? Be ready, please. Eh, estemos listos todos, por favor, para darle eh, aceptar. Porque a veces se nos va ahí, se nos pasa el, y no le damos a aceptar, ¿verdad? Okay. And let's create the four groups. Pay attention, please. In every group, I always need a secretary or a president of every group, a coordinator, if you want to say, right? Group number one, Debbie, Carla Benazir, que está de oyente, Leticia, Roberto, Jose Roberto, right? And Rosibel. Debbie, Carla Benazir, Leticia, Roberto, and Rosibel. Okay? Number two. Aminda, Domingo, Rosemary, Vanessa Noemi, and Wendy. Pesos pesados, yes, nice. Okay, number three. Uh, we have Trini, Rosibel, Sonia y Beth, and Walter Omar. And finally, group number four. Yes. I mentioned my name in number one. In number, number one, okay, three. give me a second. Debbie, Carla Benazir, Leticia, Roberto, and Rosibel, right? Y... Mm -hmm. Yes, Rosibel Borja, ajá. Uh -huh. Rosibel es que quizás le está identificando um, uh, el teléfono. Es que... Yes. ¿Con qué, ¿Con qué me está trabajando ahora? ¿Con el teléfono o con la compu? Con la compu, me voy a salir del teléfono. Ah, vaya, ok. Está bien. Entonces, déjeme ver. Eh, sí, ya desapareció su nombre aquí. Ok, entonces va a estar en el, en el grupo 4. No, no, güey, güey, güey. Give me a second. Ya me perdí. Sorry. Sorry. Permítame. No, 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 no hay problema, Rocío. Ya no veo su nombre. Ah, ¿cómo no? En el 1 va a estar. Ok. En el 1. Group Thank number 1, right? I repeat. Thank Vamos you. a repetir. Okay. Number 1, Debbie, Carla Benazir, Leticia, and Rosibel. Group number two, Aminda, Domingo, Rosemary, Vanessa, Noemi, Wendy, Amaya. Group number three, Trini, Sonia y Beth, Walter Omar. No sé por qué me sale chiquito el tres, pero bueno, solo peso pesado ahí también. <ríe> ok, number four, Carlos Membreño, Jorge Alfredo, Oscar Anulfo, en Chama. Right? Ready? Ok, I'm going to give you. 30 minutes. Vamos a darles 30 minutos. I guess it's enough time, right? Good. There we go. Aquí vamos.
Leticia, me escucha, Leticia. Can you hear me? Rosemary. Rosemary. Teacher. Ajá. Eh, dele entrar al grupo, por favor, Leticia. Estaba en la sala. Ah, vaya. Es que se me. Se le. Ok. Se me volvió a. Sí, está es fallando. Se borró de la pantalla. Ah, ok. Leticia, si quiere, la mando a otro grupo. O puede todavía darle clic ahí. Ah, ok, good, good. Leticia. No me da la opción de darle. Vaya, entonces la voy a mandar a, al grupo 3. La voy a mandar al grupo 3. Y ahí póngase lista para darle clic, ok. Vaya, teacher. Ahí está, ahí está ya. Robert, Roberto. Hello, teacher. My interest okay. is bad. Uh, ah, I, okay, I think good. I am in the group. Okay, uh, I will assign Number you. Number one, I think. Number one, right. Lo voy a mandar al grupo, al grupo uno. Okay, ready? Ahí le va a aparecer el mensaje. Yeah. Yes. ¿Pudo, Roberto? ¿Pudo entrar? ¿José Roberto? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eh, uh, José Roberto tiene problemas con internet. Y uh, solo serían tres, ¿verdad? Rosibel y Debbie, right? Yes. Ok, good. I, can you make it? ¿Creen que lo pueden hacer o quieren que les envíe otro ayudante ahí? Eh, no sé <risa> ahorita estábamos pensando el que ok eh, pero tiene la captura de pantalla sí, sí. es lo de es sí, lo lo tenemos. ok so if you want you can, no necessarily you can make a powerpoint presentation you can make it in, in your notebook right you can take notes ah, ah, and you okay. can go one by one for example you can start with the product service right? and mm -hmm. what I want is that you go question by question For example, the question number one is, uh, what is the brand of your product? ¿Qué marca le van a poner? Okay? Mm -hmm. This is the first thing, right? What mm -hmm. is the brand of your, and what is your product? ¿Y, y qué, qué producto van a vender? <laughs> okay. Eso no es importante, right? Okay. Okay, I will stay here. Vamos a ver. Voy a quedar un ratito aquí de, de observador, right? And continue. <laughs> Okay. Porque ya no la veo a Rosibel, así se hizo. Ah, no, Roberto. Aquí estoy. No, aquí estoy. Ajá, este... es que, es que desapareció alguien. Okay. Uh -huh. eh... No sé si, si algo de comida o accesorios, de Yelwood, por ejemplo, no sé. O... Ahí tengo un accesorio. Algo de, algo de cocina, ya que somos mujeres. De cocina, va. <risa> algo útil. <risa> ah, ah, ah. Practice. Eh, vi que se te viene a la mente de útil en la cocina. <risa> <risa> eh, Teacher, ¿es ok to talk in Spanish o we need to talk in English? No, I, I prefer uh, 
Well, the name would be in Spanish, right? Okay. But uh, when you describe, when you describe the product, you're going to say in English, right? For example, okay. uh, no, but but um, working with together is 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 okay. Talk in Spanish or or in English. No, I don't understand. If you're asking me if the brand of the product is in Spanish or in English. No, no, no. no. About the, ahorita que estamos planeando, mm -hmm. es necesario hacerlo en inglés o lo podemos no, hacer no, no, en español. No, no, it's up español. to you. It's your decision. It's your decision. Okay. It's your okay. decision, right? Eh, voy a ir a buscar a José Roberto, que por aquí me aparece, y voy a tratar de mandárselo, porque le está fallando Bye. el internet. Yes, okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Entonces, eh, una, algo como, por ejemplo, una, se me ocurre, hay bueno, utensilios, ¿verdad? hay Ajá, más que utensilio. nada, un, algún utensilio que nos pueda como que servir, como que tenga una doble función, pero ¿qué puede ser? Mm, algo que tenga una doble función. Una, ¿qué? Un, una cacerola, por ejemplo. Un sartén que sea... Ajá. Que sea un sartén como que, que te Ajá. que se gire que se gire y que de un lado sea como como cómo se dice ay planito como para como comalito y del otro lado sea sartén normal <risa> no sé Pero Va, espérame, déjame ver. Eh, no sé si podemos compartir aquí Choice. Right. And the price. How much it cost? It. No he comprado tenis, así que no sé cuánto cuesta hoy en día. Uy, están caros, dependiendo de las <laughs> marcas. Andan por 45 los más baratos son guanacos sí. que ser para nuestra marca ahí donde dice perdón es que, eh, ahí donde dice what does the shoes do no lleva sujeto no tendré que haber sujeto what is what does el sujeto es shoes es the shoes the shoes es the sujeto uh -huh. ah, que veo que le parece en rojo que es al español ah es porque no le reconoce ah. el lenguaje ah no, ok ya lo cambia no te preocupes Parece que no, no salió. Ahí está. Ok, va. Entonces, Price. el precio ponemosle $25 o $20. Mm. $25. Ok. Eh, ok. Eh, no, muy caro, $20. No, está muy barato. Nuestra marca <ríe> tiene que ser cara. $25. <ríe> $25. <ríe> ni barato ni caro. <risa> ah, pero este es el costo. Accesible. Eh, ah, bueno, digamos el que es el, ajá, bueno, el precio, ajá. Es el precio de venta, porque entiendo que hay que poner el precio de venta. Ajá, sí, entonces eh. pongámosle price. Uh -huh. price? Ajá, solo ponerle ajá. 25 dólares. Ajá, está bien. Um, ¿Qué más? Ahora vamos a poner eh, price strategies. Uh, which the strategies and why? You know? Sí. Special price strategy. La estrategia de. Special price strategy. Ah. Uh -huh. so estrategia. Ah, Se supone por... que estamos lanzando el producto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces le ponemos un descuento por primera compra. Ajá, yo estaba. Ajá, exacto. De, oh. de apertura. No, no, de apertura. A los primeros 100, así dice. Sí, y si lleguen parejas, le da, a los otros sale mitad de precio. Va, como, como, como así como la, la promoción que te da esta tienda de que te vende zapato brasileño, ¿cómo se llama? Vía, vía Brasil. Brasil. Ajá. Ese, ajá. Buen enganche, 
Total es, que no... es una mentira. Sí, verdad que sí, vos llegas y todos los zapatos te cuestan como un precio regular 70, ¿verdad? Con el descuento Ajá. 35. Sí. Decís, ¿Y cuál es el, el descuento? Doble. Sí, 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 ahí, ahí son una estafa total. Sí, es cierto. <risa> es cierto. Pero bueno, ni modo. Hello, guys. No, ni modo. Somos ¿Todo bien? bien? Everything is okay. Veo que están trabajando muy bien por ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Por ahí, sí. Por ahí Wendy les mandó un mensaje. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama esa, esa estrategia que van a usar? Ahí les puso ahí, ¿verdad? Pero no como en donde venden zapatos brasileños, no que como en la ropa. Y a dos is better, right? Un par dos. Yeah. Uh, ok. Es que... Continue working, continue. Aquí solo estoy de noticia, pero sorry, de, de observador. You're welcome, you are welcome here. Ok. Discount the first purchasers, the purchasers. Sixty or fifty percent percent ah, yes. of the yeah, Um, como es lanzamiento, es pongámosle o fifty, pongámosle yes, yeah, sí, forty, forty is okay. Forty percent. Mm -hmm. Solo que Vanessa, tú eres la, tú eres, tú estás escribiendo, ¿verdad? When you buy, when Sria, when you buy a first first pairs of shoes. Vanessa, de hola, me oyen. Sí, sí, sí. Hola, Vanessa, mira, ahí donde has puesto discount on your first purchase. Esa es el, esa es eh, la estrategia. Ahí en la parte naranjada tenés que poner price strategy, que es tu tu estrategia de de venta, ¿verdad? Ajá, y ahí colocas 40% discount on your first purchase. ¿Sí? Price strategy. Ajá, así. Si está activada, le pido que se Carla. ¿Quiere que la mande a un grupo específico para que esté de oyente ahí, Carla? Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, ¿cómo van por acá? ¿Todo bien? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. good. Just create the, the presentation. Ah, good. That's okay. That's okay. If you want, you can share, right? Puede, uh, eh, ¿Quién está haciendo la presentación ahorita? Me. Ah, okay, so you can share, eh, Yvette. Yeah, eh, Ay, ¿cómo okay. presento? Ah. Puede compartirlo con el grupo si quiere, ¿no? Y los demás van haciendo sus comentarios. But do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta que, que quieran que les ayude? Um, ya le voy a... ¿Pueden ver la, la pantalla? Sure. Oh. <laughs> Por ahí está. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. nice. Uh, money, right? the, the idea is like that. A uh, slide with... It's one P in the glossar. Okay, uh, good. It's, so it's, it's uh, my suggestion is that you will go question by question, right? For example, question one, name of the product. You have the, the honeybee, right? And what does your product do? You know, it's, it's honey. Ah, 
Mm -hmm. So go question by question. That's that's my my suggestion, right? But if you want to yeah. do it different, no problem, no problem. But the idea is to follow this plan. La idea es seguir este plan, no? Yes. Oh. Yes. Pero repito, si usted lo quiere hacer diferente, no problem. No problem, right? Yeah. Aquí tiene la respuesta ya, veo. No, este, mm -hmm. yeah. no, that's okay, no problem. You can decide. Aquí solo estoy de observador, ¿verdad? Aquí ustedes mandan. Aquí no mando yo. <laughs> okay, continue, continue working, continue. Thank you. Bueno, respondamos entonces las preguntas. Ok. Aquí está, aquí está. Sí, uh... Bueno, sí, es en serio. Deja de compartir. Ustedes si gustan, ayúdenme las para, para pasarlas. Agarrémonos un bloque cada uno para poder avanzar. Ok. Yo voy a agarrar el primero. Ahora sería, ahora sería definir el placement. No sé si... The placement, where you sell your product. Eh, bueno, ahí tenemos que tener presencia en los centros comerciales, centros turísticos. Venta online. Online, promotion... Y tenemos que tener nuestro call center también. Y other where taxi car. Vamos a ver qué otro, dónde más. Casa por casa. Sí. Door to door. Door to door. Ok. Ahí dice retail store. Eh, Tendríamos tiendas también, ¿no? En, en, lo, en los malls, en los centros comerciales. Hola, ¿no? Kioscos, kioscos. Sí. En consuma ahorita que viene agosto. Hello, guys. I see you're working very well. Congratulations. If you have any question, I can help you, right? Eh, Mister, ah, tell me, Chama. Eh, solo vamos a trabajar como que si fuera un anuncio o, o el esquema de trabajo. No, no, no. What you're going to, my recommendation is the next, right? You go for the four P's. P number one, P two. Okay, so it's product, price, placement, and promotion, right? Now, then in the product, the name of your product and what does your product do? That's okay. Uh, full one. <laughs> 
Perfect. That's nice. Yes. Uh, number two, price. Uh, what is the cost for the client, you know, in the, in the market? Uh, and special strategies like coupons, uh, uh, half of the price of the product, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So, in other words, you're going to go uh, in the plan, you know, answering question by question, you know. So yeah, I see you're doing well. Lo están haciendo bien. Okay. Yes. That's okay. But answer all the questions. Pero traten de, de responder todas las preguntas. Si no la quieren en orden, pero por lo menos eh, que aparezca en la presentación, ¿no? Uh, for example, eh, como decían ustedes ahí, acabo de escuchar que lo van a vender en, en centros comerciales, en, en tiendas eh, de, menu, de menudeo, right? En consuma. That's okay. Entonces, ahí van a vender su producto, yes? Y el promotion es eh, eh, cómo lo van a promover, a, a, cómo se llama la palabra, eh, qué tipo de anuncio van a utilizar para venderlo, ¿no? Si lo van a hacer por medio de internet, por periódico, panfletos, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Y quién va a ser su, sus clientes? ¿Quién va a ser su cliente? Mujeres, hombres, niños, el público en general, gente de San Salvador, gente de todo El Salvador, etcétera, etcétera, ¿ok? Ok. Esa es la idea. Entonces, es, es de ir por, váyanse por las cuatro P's, ¿ok? Y vayan describiendo una por una. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Thank you, Mr. Okay. You're doing well. You're doing well. Yes. Nice. No, yo creo que ya me voy a pasar con ustedes. Me dan 200 GB de YouTube. Este... Hello, girls. ¿Cómo le va, chicas? <laughs> Hola, teacher. Malfunction, master plan. Oh, move function. Yes. Nice. ¿Cómo es? Move function. O, o you can copy multifunction, right? Maybe. Uh, multifunction. Así. Ajá. Uh -huh. And there is a C, right? Hay una C aquí de function. And C, right? Se lo voy a chequear. Ahí sí, en, en lo que ustedes están trabajando, sí. ahí les voy a chequear el vocabulario, ¿ok? Ok. Yes, continue. La otra es. We will just sell your product. Pero creo que ya contestamos la, la C. We will just sell your product in supermarket. Uh, we will just position your product to catch. The H in the top cell, top cell, boost stick on. Casi no te escucho de. de.
ahora sí un poco mejor. Pero ya pusimos en el supermarket. Entonces, esa, esa sería ya esa. Ajá. Pero la posición dice acá: de position. Entonces, aquí le vamos a agregar en in, in supermarket. In the, in the, well, teacher. Yes, yes. Uh, for for mention, you mentioned uh, mm -hmm. you mentioned the position in the supermarket. Oh, uh, for example, middle 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 middle. Middle uh, is uh, give me a second. Middle middle shelf, middle shelf. Shelf. Aunque ah, ahí, okay. ahí dice top shelf, quiere decir la 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 shelf no, más más importante. Arriba. Uh -huh. Ah, top shelf. Is top shelf the, quiere decir la más importante. Ajá. Ah, Ahí okay. ustedes pueden ponerle middle shelf o top shelf. Cualquiera de las dos es, ah, es bueno. Okay. Sí. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, how will you advertise the product? We use Okay, sorry for the interruption. I, I found the, the spelling is M U L T I. It's not Y, it's I. In, in, yeah, in the here. name, huh? I. Good. And then after the N, we have a C. Okay. Uh, no, 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 the other N, sorry, the other N. Okay. F U N C. No, no, no es, es no, C. Okay. Okay, that's it. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. eh, por, por aquí tengo a ver sin asignar. Se lo voy a mandar para, okay. para que les ayudes. Ah, bueno, Okay. Uh, how will you advertise advertise the product? Ese es como promover el producto. Promotion. Welcome ever, bienvenido ever. Por aquí está Debbie y Rosibel trabajando. Si me les puede ayudar, pues. Hello. Mister. Hello. ¿Dónde está Sorry. usted? Ever? In okay. my outfit, but I got a little some, some problem with my connection. I understand. Don't I'm worry. Here. I'm here. I'm here. You good. Uh, you can add your commentaries to Debbie and Rosibel, please. And look, they are making an ex excellent job. It's a product for girls. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. Yeah, come it. on. Continue working. See. Continue working. Thanks. And then uh, we select the.
Hello, Wendy. Hello. Hello. Eh, ¿En qué grupo estaba, Wendy? Perdón. En el 2. En el 2. ¿Quiere que la mande el 2? O porque ya, ya solo un minuto queda, pero. Pero sí, por pasa? favor. Bueno, ok, ahorita, ahorita. Gracias. Ahorita. Gracias. Okay, ready? I will give every group two minutes, right? Sorry for the short time, but I'm sure you're ready to make the presentation, right? Okay, group number one, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, group number one. Ready, Debbie? You're the, the star of the group, yeah. <laughs> the coordinator. Este, Rosy, Rosy Bell tiene el... el... Ah, ok, good. Okay. So, Rosibel, go ahead, Rosibel. Ok, I will share uh, in, in David be explain. Good, good. Que nos ayude Ever. <laughs> oh, Ever, too. <laughs> come on, poor Ever, ya me lo castigaron. Ok, come on, go ahead. Ok, perfect. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, we got the... For a specific brand to... to to make the a, a, a important launch of the market. The name is Multifunctional Master Plan. That is the, a, it's like a one old product helps of the facility us to cook several products at the same time. The price is accessible to customer is $20. Is to alcance, how do you say? To the old people. Huh? The place where uh, we the place where you can find the product the is ranch, the, the ranch, right? Ranch, ranch, okay. Mm -hmm. ranch. Okay. The place uh, where you can find the product is the supermarket in the top shelf. In a special introduction, our product we include one spatula. There's uh, something additional for your prompt uh, 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 compra or buy. We uh, advertise um, the, the way for distribution. We prefer to make uh, for the radio uh, some advice on TV and the network, what's the uh, internet, uh, and the networks too. And that is all, teachers. Ah. 
who is your okay. target customer uh, everyone uh, like to cook you. okay yes especially husbands ah yes the, yeah. the cooker <laughs> we are, the, the, we are pushed to men. cook right? <laughs> we are obligated to book, to cook <laughs> okay good thank you group number one thank you very much group number two please ready yes okay please go ahead okay I'm, I'm going to Vanessa share the screen. Okay, good, good. Can you see it? No, yet. Oh, I can see it. Okay, good evening, everyone. Um, in, in a group, our uh, products are shoes, and the brand of our products are Guanaco shoes. And uh, what the shoes do? The product give you a comfort at every step for different activities. Uh, our shoes are ideal for sport, work, walk, or run. All the activities can imply move on. Um, the price of our shoes are $25. So they are, okay. Uh, our price strategy are uh, that our clients who have 40% discount on your first purchase because we are uh, beginning with our, with our store. Uh, what about the placement? You can buy Wanako shoes from your house, job, or another place with our online shoes. Uh, sorry, online store. Uh, the promotion, because we have an online store, the promotion is through social media. Uh, so you can find uh, in the Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and TikTok. What are our target customers? They are kids, uh, men, women. I don't know, teacher, if unisex is the correct word or exists another word. That's okay. Express. Kids. That's okay. Unisex. I'm okay. Yes, I guess it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So this is our marketing plan for Guanaco uh, shoes. Yes, I like it. Well, but listen, uh, the colors is for me, in my opinion, it's just for girls, look. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> no. I, was, I was planning to buy those Guanaco shoes because they look- This is the first <laughs> prototype teacher, so. Oh well, yeah, but- we, we don't have any more no, time. No, I like the price. I like the price, $25 <laughs> is very uh, cheap, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, thank you. Congratulations. Good presentation, right? Okay, group number three, please. Group number three. Thank you, teacher. I'm going to present. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Yumi, yumi. <laughs> <laughs> the product that the, the team chooses is Happy Honey. This is the brand. It's a natural honey. About the product, uh, Happy Honey is a Salvadorian brand. A honey produced in Chalatenango with a bees feed on with flowers. The price, the presentation is an uh, 500, uh, how do you say ML? Milliliter. ML? Millimeters? Uh, I suppose, right? Millimeters, millimeters uh, well, at $3 each bottle. Uh, the use can be used as fibering, uh, this is pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry, uh, milligrams is the word. Milligrams. Milligram. Okay. Milligrams. Sorry, millimeter is uh, medida. <laughs> Sorry, milligram. Uh, the honey is used in, in very uh, in many. How many use? In, it's like a medicine, like a, a food, the like dessert, etc. 
and the promotion. Happy Honey will have advertising on radio, newspaper, and paid ads on social networks. And we also have it our official page in Facebook, on Facebook and Instagram. And the placement. Happy Honey will be sold in supermarkets, organic markets, vegan shops, and small shops. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Hey, listen, do me a favor, the three groups, please, and the four groups, I mean, right? Can you share the presentation to the group, please, after the class? Because I like okay. it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Okay, thank you very much. After this, uh, the class, I will eat some honey with, with bread. Because <laughs> it looks delicious, you know? <laughs> Okay, good. Group number four, we finished. I will take extra two minutes, right? Le voy a robar dos minutos más. Sorry, okay. Come on, go ahead. Group number four, please. Oh. Okay, mister, good night. Well, uh, tonight uh, we present a food Guanamobile. Guanamobile is a mobile services. Uh, you can get for only $18.98 for month. And the special for the first month, you can get unlimited minutes up to 100 gigabyte to navigate. You do 200 gigabyte, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Waze, Spotify, Deezer, Hi-Fi, Apple, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Unlimited. And where, and where you can get the services, you only need visit www.foodwanamobile.com. That's it? Ah, okay. Okie dokie. Hey, you have experience selling cell phone, right? Uh, sorry for Claro, I will, I will uh, take this, this um, product now. <laughs> okay, class, thank you very much. I love the presentation, I'm really happy, especially with Happy Honey, I'm very happy, <laughs> okay. The four, the four presentations were excellent, right? And I, I can see the group number three share the presentation in this class, but please also share the presentation in the WhatsApp group, right? In the WhatsApp group also, please. Thank you very much, right? Uh, have a good night, everybody. And um, I will take the attendance. And Yvette, still available, right, Yvette? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So. Uh, Trini? Present. Good. Have a good night, Trini. God bless you. Thank Amin you. Okay, good. Uh, Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Carlos? Present. Good. Claudia Guadalupe? Domingo? Present. Ever? Present, teacher. Good night. Okay. Good night. God bless you. Jose Roberto. Carla. Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Eh, Leticia. Mariano. Oscar. Present. Good. Al final arreglo los problemitas de internet, Oscar. That's, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, have a good yeah. night. Good night. Rosemary. Rosibel. 
Rosibel y Beth. Present. Good, good. Ahí me espera, Ros eh, eh, Sonia, sorry. <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. Walter Omar. Walter. Present. Good night. Good. good night. God bless you. Wendy Karina. Present. Okay. Thank you. Salvador Chamba. Present, mister. Okay. Thank you. Have a good night. Debbie. Good. Bye bye, Debbie. Eh, Jorge Alfredo. Present. Good. Have a good night, Jorge. God bless you. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Hi, Beth. How are you? Hi, teacher. Okay, I like your presentation. Eh? If you Thank want, you, you. Can, you can turn on the camera. Come on. You're not babysitting, uh, Yvette? Uh, he is uh, asleep. He's, he's sleeping. Okay, good. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's the name of your, of your prince? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo. <laughs> one year, you say, right? One year. Uh, one and half year. Ah, uh, uh, one, one year and six months. Ah, okay. So, six months. Okay, so this, they are beautiful, this, this <laughs> age, right? And you only have one baby? Yes. Ah, oh, good. Only, only. Only one. Only one. I have. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so by the way, I told you, right, one of my sons is having his birthday uh, today. We're going to celebrate on Saturday. But you know, we are happy with children, you know, even with a lot of work, right? But yes. Okay, but uh, I don't know if you want to uh, to to work with one specific topic, uh, one topic that from the from the intermediate tree or other topic if you want. It's, it's up to you. These 10 minutes are only for you, right? Okay. What do you want to do? My witness is the is. I mix the tense. Ah, the tenses. Ah, okay. Uh, I will try to send you a video, right? Uh, about this, more specific. But of course, I will explain, right? Let me see. Send a video. To this. Okay. I guess it's the description of the simple present. Eh, y ves, en el video se describe el presente simple, pero le da una, como un esquema de todos los tiempos. Eh, lo podemos dividir en un cuadro, que es el de simple present, ¿verdad? Que son como el do, el das. Las formas perfectas, que son como el pasado perfecto, el presente perfecto, el futuro perfecto. Las formas continuas, que es el pasado continuo. Presente continuo y el futuro continuo, ¿verdad? Todas las formas continuas. Pero ahí le voy a enviar el esquema. Uh, pero básicamente podemos irnos por el uso de, de auxiliares. Eh, le voy a compartir una, una pantalla de, de Word. Permítame un segundo. Para explicarle más o menos. Aquí tengo un Word. Lo vamos a abrir para escribirle algo ahí. Ok, lo vamos a hacer grandecito para que usted lo pueda ver bien. Por ahí creo. Ahí estamos. Y lo vamos a compartir. Ahí estamos. Good. Can you see? Now. Yes. Look, we have auxiliaries. Para que usted se ubique. ¿Cuáles son los, los, los tiempos, right? Eh, comencemos con el uso de auxiliares, ¿no? Y tenemos, los primeros son el verbo to be. Después tenemos el do, el does y el did. Y por último tenemos el have y el have para tiempo perfecto, ¿ok? Good. The verb to be is simple. 
eh, y B. It describes a form of be or stay, right? No forma de ser o estar, no, simple, right? And we can talk about the verb to be in the past, present, and future. Past, present, and future, right? Entonces usted dice, por ejemplo, yo estaba, right? I was, for example, I was in my house. En la forma presente, she is in her house. Voy a decir solo un, un pequeño ejemplo, ¿verdad? Good. Y ahí estamos diciendo que la persona estuvo o alguien está ahorita en presente en su casa. Futuro. Ok. They will be. They will be at home tomorrow. Ok, ahí está el uso del verbo to be en forma del presente, pasado y futuro, right? Pero también tiene otros usos. Se usa en otros auxiliares como eh, is going, be going to, sorry, be going to. Se usa para las formas continuas, como el, el, el presente continuo, por ejemplo. Usted dice is working, she is working, por ejemplo. Entonces se usa como verbo principal y como auxiliar. Ahora, el do y el das son exclusivos para el presente simple. Simple present, right? Y, y recuérdese que cuando usamos una oración en, en, en afirmativo, no necesitamos el auxiliar. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I work in inglés corporativo, por ejemplo. Right? Ok. I don't need auxiliar. Pero si yo hago la oración negativa, por ejemplo, puedo decir, she doesn't. She doesn't live in Mexicano, por ejemplo. She doesn't live in Mexicano. Ok, aquí en la negativa necesitamos auxiliar. Esto es, y ves, porque en inglés no hay conjugación del verbo, sino que ellos lo que hacen es usar auxiliares, ¿no? En este caso, el presente simple lo usan para negativos y para preguntas. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero preguntarle, ¿Do you like uh, pizza? Uso el auxiliar también, ¿verdad? O si quiero utilizar eh, el pasado simple. El pasado siempre se utiliza eh, un auxiliar. En este caso, si la oración es, es sencilla, no necesitamos un auxiliar y puedo decir, um, we played yesterday, right? Pero si es negativa, sí se necesita. Okay. Uh, we didn't. We didn't. Um, eat um, hamburger. Ok, no comimos hamburguesas, ¿sí? We didn't eat hamburger. Aquí sí necesitamos el auxiliar. O en preguntas, de información o preguntas de, de sí, no, ok. Where did you live last year, por ejemplo? ¿Dónde vivías el año pasado? O. Did you, did you um, work yesterday? Ok, entonces aquí están los tiempos. Mire, pas, presente simple, pasado simple. Eh, se usa la, el auxiliar en preguntas, en oraciones negativas, y en presente no se usa ningún auxiliar, solo el verbo, ¿verdad? A lo más en tercera persona le agregamos una S aquí al verbo. Ok, y luego pasamos a la, a la forma del presente perfecto. Ok, en las formas perfectas eh, utilizamos el pasado participio, que es el verbo que nosotros decimos en español y ves, ha doído. Como yo he comido, yo había corrido. Yo... Esa palabra ha doído es lo que en inglés se conoce como el pasado participio. Y bueno, aquí sí se usa siempre el auxiliar en todo. Hay... Have a travel to Guatemala, por ejemplo. Yo ya he viajado a Guatemala. Negativo. I haven't eaten oysters. Todavía no he comido ostras. Oysters. En preguntas. Have you visited uh, el Tazumal, por ejemplo? Tazumal. Ya no me lo quiso mover. Dije. Vamos a. Um, 
Ya se dio cuenta que me cuesta un poco, ¿verdad? <ríe> I'm sorry, but okay. Tazumal. El Tazumal. Right? Have you visited el Tazumal? Yes, I have. No, I have. Oh, in past perfect. Right? Yo había. I had. Um, what? I have played chess. Yo había jugado ajedrez. Right? In simple. In past perfect, right? Y en el pasado otro... perfecto, tanto auxiliar como. Bueno, no, que decir es que, had no es que esté en pasado, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, está en pasado. Está en pasado. El had nos indica que está en pasado perfecto. Mm. ¿Yes? Y el had o has nos indica que está en presente perfecto, ¿no? Pero el pasado participio, como le dije yo, el ad oído, este travel en verbos regulares o it en verbos irregulares, siempre va. Siempre va, aunque sea eh, presente perfecto, futuro perfecto, presente continuo perfecto, ¿sí? Entonces, vaya, pero lo que yo quiero, porque realmente 10 minutos es muy corto para, como para explicar todo, eso es lo que quiero es darle una, una visión general, vaya. Entonces tenemos que los auxiliares solo son estos, mire, y ver el verbo to be en presente, futuro y pasado, el do, does y did y en las formas perfectas, ¿sí? Esos son los auxiliares que existen en inglés. Pero también tenemos los modas. Y los modas, no le voy a explicar en detalle, pero los modas tienen un uso específico. Por ejemplo, el, el can y el could se puede usar para posibilidades y también para habilidades. El should... Se puede usar para consejos. El may se puede usar para pedir permiso o posibilidad. El have to como obligación. El must como obligación también. El eh, what? El show o el will, perdón. En los ingleses usan también el, el show también. Este de, es el mismo, ¿verdad? So oh. que el, el show es más como, como británico, más... más uh -huh. Correcto, bueno, el, para el futuro. Eh, be going to también es un auxiliar, es un modo, perdón, be going to. Eh, would, que es el pasado de want, would, etcétera, etcétera. Ahí tenemos un montón de auxiliares, ¿verdad? Un montón de auxiliares, ¿sí? Eh... El may me falta. Ah, sí, aquí está ya. Perdón. El may que es para pedir permiso. Sí. Etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, aquí eh, no podemos hablar de un tiempo específico porque eh, la mayoría de estos, a no ser que estos, ¿verdad? Que sí son específicos para el futuro, pero la mayoría podemos usarlo como una opción del pasado, presente y futuro. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, I must work. Yo tengo que trabajar. Tuve que trabajar en el pasado. Tengo que trabajar ahorita y tengo que trabajar mañana, ¿no? Ahí no, como que no, el tiempo no, no es muy importante. O puedo decirle yo, I can play fútbol, yo puedo jugar fútbol. Sí, entonces ahí no le estoy diciendo en qué tiempo, ¿verdad? Ahí puede ser cualquier tiempo, ¿sí? I can play fútbol tomorrow, puedo jugar fútbol mañana, I can play fútbol today. I could play fútbol yesterday, yo podía jugar fútbol ayer. Entonces, ahí como que no, el tiempo no trabaja, sino que más bien es la función de cada modo. ¿Sí? A diferencia de los auxiliares, que son bien generales, los modas son específicos. También son auxiliares, pero son como primos, dijéramos, de los auxiliares. ¿sí? Pero aquí usted se puede formar una idea de cuáles son los tiempos en general. ¿sí? Ok, y aquí también hay otro tema que corte que yo quiero enviarle en el video para que usted se forme una idea general. Que vaya, el verbo to be puede ser como verbo principal o como auxiliar dentro del presente continuo, pasado continuo, las formas perfectas también. I have been, por ejemplo, usted puede decir, yo había estado trabajando, por ejemplo. I have been working. Usa el, el, la forma del perfecta con el verbo to be. ¿sí? Entonces, estos se pueden combinar. ¿Ya? Pero le voy a mandar ese cuadro y ahí usted más o menos puede formarse solo una idea, ¿verdad? Porque sí, si le empiezo a decir la estructura de cada uno, pues es un poquito complicado. 
Ok, no sé si más o menos pude responder sí. su pregunta, Ibe. Sí, voy a, voy a ver el video y a repasar más para... Sí, que... aquí le va a caer esto también. La clase le va a caer guardada, ¿verdad? Entonces, ah, sí, está bien. puede acceder ahí y revisar esto que le he escrito aquí. Pero, eh, ¿alguna pregunta todavía general que pueda hacer sobre cómo usar los, los tiempos en inglés? Me da, eh, tengo dudas. Sé que el sí, how bien. es para las primeras personas del para hay sí. I have, you have, they have you have, y el has también, si sí, aquí se me olvidó uh -huh. ponérselo, perdone se me olvidó ponérselo porque este este va aquí también el has. ups pero en el ejemplo de ayer estábamos eh, en un ejemplo que puso ayer ¿Sí? que si sí se tocó el pasado eh, decía como pero en segunda persona en tercera persona como he he had y el verbo en pasado no era no, he no, has, no. sino que he had ver, permítame ver lo que pasa es que algunos verbos por ejemplo travel mire travel es el mismo pasado participio el mismo pasado simple por ejemplo entonces yo puedo decir yo viajé I travel o puedo decir I have travel yo he viajado no me recuerdo el ejemplo, pero si es así como lo está escribiendo, el verbo no era pasado simple, era pasado participio, que es lo que nosotros conocemos y ver como ha doído. Yo he viajado, yo he bebido, yo he corrido, ¿sí? Ese es el ha doído. Pero en verbos regulares, en los verbos regulares, tiene exactamente la forma del pasado simple. ¿Sí? Y lo puedo usar aquí. Mire, voy a, voy a escribir otro ejemplo aquí. Puedo usarlo con has. She has traveled, por ejemplo. Otra vez. Y el verbo es viajado, ¿no? No viajé, sino que viajado. Puedo ponerle I have traveled. Ahí está el, el, ese ejemplo. Uh, my brothers, mis hermanos también. Lo pongamos aquí, empleamos a los hermanos. Have traveled. Y puedo usar el pasado perfecto también. Eh, they, aquí sí todos usan have, ¿verdad? Todos usan have. They had traveled. Ellos habían viajado. ¿Sí? Entonces aquí sí se me olvidó, perdón, hay que ponerle el, el has, ¿verdad? Pero los tres son formas perfectas y van seguidos, y ves, de un pasado participio que en los verbos regulares es solo ed y en los verbos irregulares es un listado que hay que aprenderse de memoria, ¿se acuerdan? ¿Sí? sí, sí. Por ejemplo, break, broke, broken. El broken es el pasado participio. Sí, como yo que le digo, yo, er, yo había roto un traste. <risa> ¿Ok? ¿Otra duda, Ibet? No, eso es mi mayor General, ¿no? problema. General. Sí, pero aquí puede dar una vista más o menos general. Ah, y también creo que le voy a mandar un video. Hay una chica, en, no puedo decir el nombre porque estamos grabando, pero este, uh -huh. hay una chica en, en, en YouTube, ¿verdad? No, eh, que eh, explica súper bien, ¿verdad? Súper bien explica los temas de... Si le encuentro algo de, de esa chica, de ese canal, eh, se lo voy a enviar también, oiga. Está bien. Ok, y ve. Thank you very much, Yvette. Thank um, you. Congratulations to be an excellent mother, to have English classes and take care of your baby. Thank you. Okay. And have a good, good night. night. Bless you. Thank you.